Hello students, in this lecture we're going to learn how to create a heat map in Excel. Basically a heat map is a presentation of data in colors according to the values. You can visualize trends or relationships using color scales. Color scales fill in each cell you are formatting with the color varying in scale based on the value in each cell relative to the other formatted cells. Excel essentially takes the largest and smallest values in the selected range and determines the color for each cell. For example, I can easily spot which are the months for a company when sales were low, highlighted in red, as compared with other months. Or I can spot the low and high temperatures by a city per month. Keep in mind that in order to have a nice heat map, you need to have the intuitive color scales like red to green for earnings or blue to red for temperatures. First we will create a simple heat map using conditional formatting to highlight cells based on the value. This way, in case you change the values in the cells, the color or format of the cell would automatically update the heat map based on the pre-specified rules in conditional formatting. In this table you can see the earnings for, of a company by month from January to December and from the year 2000 to the year 2017. The steps are very simple. The first step is to highlight cells from B2 to S13 and from the Home tab, choose Color Scales from the Conditional Formatting menu. Here I can choose various color combinations that are used to highlight the data. The most common color scale is the first one, where the cells have high values, they are highlighted in green and low in red. Note that as you hover the mouse over these color scales, you can see the live preview in the data set. I will choose the third one that serves my purpose. More green, more earnings. More red, fewer earnings. Now if you only show the colors and not the values in the cells, a great tip is to use custom formatting rule from Format Cells Properties. To the bottom of this category list, select 0, delete it, and just type 3 consecutive semicolons and OK. The numbers are invisible, the conditional formatting is still based on the values, but the user doesn't see them. In that way, you just visualize the trends. Another option is to change the color scale by managing the rules from this window. Edit the rule and edit the color scale. For example, I'll change the color of the lowest value. OK. OK again, and see the different shades of green. So the heat map is a wonderful tool to tell a story. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Excel dashboards, check out my Udemy Dashboard Masterclass course. Don't forget to subscribe to get updates, and I'll see you in the next video.